Hey there, Social Blade fans. Dave here yet again for another YouTube tip of the week. This week, we're talking about how to improve your audio quality with a free program known as Audacity. Let's get started. Now, before we really get started, I'm not going to show you guys how to download and install and set up Audacity. That's going to take too much time, and there's plenty of other tutorials out on YouTube on how to do that. So search your way around, and depending on what your computer is actually equipped with, sound card-wise, you may have to adjust to set it up properly for your setup. But basically, Audacity is a great free program. Search Audacity here on Google, hit the Google search button, and it's right here at the top, audacity.sourceforge.net and go to the link here. There's the download for 2.0.3, and that's all we really need in most cases. We have it running here in the background. This is what it looks like. You've got your, pretty much your, your toggle controls for your play, pause, uh, rewind, fast forward, and record, and you got different things like your, your input, your output, and if you want mono or stereo track. So as I said, we're not gonna go into all that, but let's look at what we have here and, and sound-wise. Uh, Let's listen to what we have. Notice the playback meter here at the top. It's gonna actually have some noise reading before we start talking, and that's what we're gonna try to remove. So you can hear that white noise. It's reading about 50 dB. Hey there, fans. Dave here for another Social Blade YouTube tip. And you can sort of hear it sounds actually kind of annoying even when we're talking, because you can still hear it. So how do we correct this? Well, Notice that I have this gap. I've recorded about five seconds before I started talking, and we're gonna use this to our advantage because that's our ambience of the room. So we're gonna actually select that dead spot. We're gonna go up to the top here where it says effect, and Audacity has a great thing called the noise removal tool. So we're gonna go to noise removal, it says step one, select a few seconds in Audacity, and then get a noise profile. We've done the selection. Let's get the noise profile. Then we can deselect, we're using the selection tool here at the top, Select the left of the track here to select the entire track. Go back up to effect, noise removal. You can preview it if you wanted to. It gives you about a four or five second uh, play time. And you can hit okay when you're done. And now let's hear how this sounds. No more noise here on the meter around 50 dB. And when we start talking, hey there fans, Dave here for another Social Blade YouTube tip of the week. Now you can sort of still hear it. If what it, this actually does is it EQ corrects a little bit, but it also gates. Gating means when nobody's talking, just cut the sound completely until they start talking again. So here when I start talking, that hiss comes back a little bit more. You could EQ it, correct it a little bit more, or get a better uh, gate that you can adjust the time. I recommend one called G Gate. It's free to use and it's a VST that you can install in pretty much any program. And I recommend using that. So let's trim this up. We could save it out. We go into file, export, selection or export the whole thing it'll be like well what do you want to save it as and all that i'm not going to go through all that but this is pretty much how you guys go through in audacity with one little correction remove that little hiss noise or whatever you have in the room another tip i could recommend is try not to correct too much because if you have so much noise and you try to correct it's going to really destroy your tone and everything else in the mix. Try to get a microphone that is dynamic rather than condenser. A lot of people tend to go with the Blue Yeti or the Yeti Pro or the Snowball, and they're condenser microphones. They're very sensitive. That means you don't have to have them right up in front of your face, but the drawback is they pick up a lot of the room noise, being the mouse and the keyboard and the computer fans, and then you have to sort of correct that out, and if you don't, it really gets annoying to some people. So I recommend a dynamic microphone. I'm sitting in front of a Heil PR22UT. You can get the Pile, or sorry, the Heil Pro 20 UT, and they're about $90 to $100, and they're fantastic. Now, they don't have a USB output, but you can get a $90 interface that goes from the XLR output of the microphone to the USB of the computer. And I've linked that in last week's Social Blade YouTube Tip of the Week, so check out the description for the products that I recommend there, and that'll help you get started with a good microphone setup so you don't have to do all this correction and everything like I've done here. So let's move on to our closer. Well, I hope this improves your audio here on YouTube and in general, your channel, so that you grow further. Hey, if you have any comments, post them below in the comments section. Or if you have a video response that's relevant, we will be approving those as well. If you haven't subscribed, do so now because every week we have another YouTube tip that'll help you grow your channel. And if you haven't found all the social media sites that involve Social Blade, well, you can find them. Just search Google. I'm sure they're all out there. I'm Dave, and this has been another Social Blade YouTube tip of the week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe because we got no new, that, uh, no new, no new content.
We don't have any new content ever, I swear.